today I'm going to paint this chair. I'm going to spray paint it with my Command Max. So I gather everything I need. I have my paint, the cup for the sprayer, a bucket of water, a ladle, and a paint strainer, and my respirator. I get a lot of questions about thinning paint, and today I'm going to try to show you how I thin my paint. First of all, I strain everything, unless it's a brand new can. If it's a brand new can, I don't think you need to strain it. I'm going to ladle up some paint, put it in my strainer. The good thing about this Command Max, it's a fine finish sprayer, and because it is a fine finish sprayer, you don't need a lot of paint for your projects. I never fill my cup up. Now, I've put in about two, almost two ladles of paint, and I'm gonna put in this ladle of water here. I'm trying to get some of my paint off with it. So right now that's a two to one ratio, approximately. Squeeze all that out. I'm gonna stir it. Immediately put your strainer in your bucket of water so that the paint doesn't clog it up. So right now that's a ratio of two to one. It's pretty thin. I think I'm gonna add just a tad more paint. Now, this is a messy job. Nobody said it wasn't messy. So I'm gonna get my strainer back out here. Another ladle of paint. This is probably going to be way too much paint for this project. I'll have to find something else to paint. So now we're currently at about three ladles of paint and one water. So a three to one ratio. I think that's going to work really well for this paint. The reason I can't give you an exact ratio proportion is because paint is different. Every brand of paint is different. Some paints are thick, some paints are thin. Can you get a feel for the consistency? It's pretty thin. I don't know if the camera can pick that up or not. Think about spray paint. Think about that can of spray paint you buy. It's pretty thin inside that can and you shake and you shake and you shake to mix it all up, but it's pretty thin. That's why I kind of base my my consistency because it is a fine finish. So that was about a three to one ratio and see how I have my, I call it the straw, pointing forward like that. Just put your cup on there. This right here is how you can adjust your spray on the Command Max. It just keeps you from pushing the trigger farther in. Okay, we're ready to spray. When I decided to do this project today, I had no idea that I was going to be vlogging it or using the video camera. So, so you just have to ignore how I look, okay?
some oranges showing through. I think I should have primered. Light run. I keep a paintbrush in my um, in my bucket to catch any runs. Sometimes, if you hold it too close, you might get a run. I'll just spray one light coat over that to cover up brush marks. Now I want to show you how easy it is to clean the Command Max. I'll clean out the cup. Put them in the camera. Clean out the cup. Fill it up with water. Remember that you are working with water and electricity, so be very careful. Plug it. Very little to clean on this Command Max. This is the straw I call it. I don't know what it's called, but this is what I call it. Run water through there. Here you have. This is where your nozzle is. You have these two pieces. You could clean them. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Not very dirty. This is not dirty. Got your nozzle. So there's the nozzle. I'll hose that nozzle off. Use warm soapy water whatever you generally use to clean. I clean the nozzle. Now what I do, I don't, they don't say to do this, but this is what I do. I'll take my hose and I'll stick it right there. And when the water goes in there, it shoots out there and it cleans the housing where the nozzle is. You do whatever you think is best. That's what I do. Because I put my net, my strainer right in the water when I finished. It was easy to clean. And that's clean. Bucket. Ladle. Everything's clean. Ready to be dried. Go the next time. This is electric. Please be safe when you're using anything that is electric and water. I unplug it each time before I clean it after I get the cup emptied. Be safe. Have fun.